Hey there, hero. I heard you parlayed with Aramis, and she hit you with some heavy truths. Mithrax used to be a bad guy. Can you believe it? <laughs> Wait till I tell Crow. <laughs> I know Ido's pissed because her dad didn't tell her about it. Makes sense, but it don't shake me. Mithrax, he's just a fella who done something he ain't proud of. And that I understand. Which reminds me. Long time back, I found myself at the fourth tomb of Nezarek. Recognized these relics the first time I saw one. That's why I needed you involved. Ain't nobody I trust with that kind of power more than you. Well, after Ares. She gave me some ideas that might help Mithrax use these things for good. Whatever he does will show us just what kind of person he is. If we can stop Aramis from finding the last few relics and killing us all. So, uh, get on that. speak with you, Jermaine. Whoa! What kind of books you been reading? It's been Drifter for a long while now. Drifter, then. You have kept secrets from us since the beginning. It is unkind to withhold knowledge. Unkindness was never my aim. Apologies, sister. Accepted. Do you have any insight as to why the Lucent Hive are interested in the relics? Power is freedom, and everybody's chasing it, from the biggest freaky moth monster to the lowest space pirate. <clears throat> but while the Lucent Hive are loyal to Savathun, the pirates enjoy a startling degree of freedom already. They are not constrained by office or honor, they are ruled only by their own desires. Eh, yeah, might look that way from the outside, but they've got to fight for everything they get. That's just survival. 
A meal and a bed that don't come at the end of a blade? That's freedom. You are drawing a comparison. Me? <laughs> Look, I get it. Walking away from folks can feel like freedom. If no one's relying on you, there's no one to disappoint. No one to be disappointed by. Now you are... I do not judge him for who he was, but he... He treated me like... Like a hatchling. Can't really blame him for not wanting to discuss it. Shame's a hard thing to shake. Harder if you have to share it. You are saying I should forgive him. That's your call, sister. I'm just saying... I get it. Aramis Skell seeks freedom for our people. But her freedom is vengeful. She wishes to be free from her shame. She will sacrifice Elixni lives in its pursuit. And it will never end. Thank you, Drifter. <laughs> you know, I don't hear that enough. <laughs> as I believe the secrets of my old life were mine to keep. But I do regret. I am ashamed of my cr of the things I did. The people I hurt. I thought I left it behind. But the old Mithrax is still within me. And now he has hurt my daughter. I have hurt my daughter. I must set it right. I was a killer, but I am a kill. I will prove to you which title I deserve. Let's make a deal. You are seeking. 
You will never undo the legacy of the whirlwind. transmission. It seems pertinent to our research. Do not open the relic under any circumstance. I don't care if the whole loosened brood is outside. The darkness inside would dissolve you before you could ever wield it against the hive. Only beings of extraordinary fortitude can withstand its energies. And we both know you're less than that. Retreat and fortify your defenses. Protect the relic 